It's official. FL Studio 2025.2 is out. It's they just out. keep coming and they just keep coming. Yep. So I was thinking about going through like just every feature pretty much that's notable in here. What they got? Just back to back to back. Like What they got? Small to big features. A couple we went over and we talked about slightly already on the channel. I know I, I posted a video, but let's just go down the list. 25.2. They keep doing it. They keep uh, up in the game <laughs> every year. And I'm assuming like, you know, 20, 26 is going to be dropping. The welcome window is slightly different. If you go through here and you look at the welcome window. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got, this. um yeah, slightly different. The different Ask templates gopher. and stuff. Yeah. And you got a gopher at the bottom. Yep. They're trying to push gopher because I, I feel like maybe not enough people are using it. News section over here. News. As they integrate it, it'll just be more and more better for sure. Because for now, I think the biggest thing with <laughs> FL for me has always been like the integration of all this stuff because yeah. i do feel like there's so many features that go under the radar because i don't i don't know exactly why it is i think people get into habits of how they record and how they produce for one thing but also i think like there are these parts where i feel like the user experience could get like heightened to just be mm. like a little more obvious like intuitive yeah. you know gopher I mean? in my opinion is we'll buried. Do, yeah like gopher's buried i mean i like that it's on the front page right here but still it's still like but you see how that even is that's that's it in the gray area right here yeah see like to me that looks all right but like it don't have like a button or anything it's not a different and it's color. hidden like, if you're not looking at it in here i mean you could pin it but like if i close that Boom. i don't know where the hell gopher, gopher, like, gopher should have its own button up here at least i get it because they want them to pop out like a gopher but i think we gotta like you gotta click him you gotta click medium. this window for that panel yeah. to open you i would have them in the bottom right if i could put the gopher anywhere i'd put them in the bottom right and and like have it so it's like it's a tab that slightly comes above where that bottom line is like on the uh, on the playlist or on yeah the, this is um, as small as you can make it i think but you can yeah. pin it so it doesn't close but it stays that open in the back mm -hmm. but you see right you see the bottom of the window that you're in right there the this? playlist uh, of the the playlist yeah if the gopher was just in like the the bottom yep. row of that thing and like just popped up as like a little tablet yeah or like what if it was just like this exactly. like yeah. this what space if, right here that's just cropping out like what if it was just something that small right there. Yeah, that it was sure. a typable box typable box and like it was just there. yeah and it was just there yeah. the whole time yeah and then facts. when you type in it and you asked it and it gave you an answer it expands boom it expands to this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but yeah i i think they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get more people to use it i understand that but i think you need to put it more in people's faces because it's, it's not there enough for sure and maybe that's by design too maybe like they don't want to have people solely rely on it but have people know that it's there just in case they need it yeah i don't know there's definitely a reason for sure there's definitely a reason because you want you want people to get like be able to get into the flow of it really quickly yep. and also maybe they don't want to bombard it just yet like they want people to kind of maybe and have i think to it's learning it. still yeah i think so you don't want you don't want to like overexpose the gopher yeah <laughs> and then people are like this shit is trash they get this shit yeah. out of here i think because you know it is ai driven mm -hmm. i think it's still learning yeah maybe yeah. they don't maybe that's a reason why they don't want to put it right in your face right yet just yet but so go for it this is something that i never messed with and i wanted to ask and i was thinking about this on my way here today is there a market for people that do this with scripts because it's something that i never fully like did a deep dive into and i don't know if anybody i don't know if you have but it's like some really script like what? Scripts. what is a script piano like roll scripts so check this out in gopher now th this is one of the updates in gopher in 2025.2 significantly improved ability to generate piano roll scripts just ask questions like create a piano piano roll script to transpose every second note under the control of a knob okay and paste the result in a new py script file under documents See so how, if i click I here kind of fuck with that is like if i told gopher or whatever to like side chain my kick to my sub that would be fire Python Python code, you familiar with that at all? Hell no. Merc, you familiar I've heard with of that, Python though. code? That's from like the 90s. You've heard of I've it, right? Never, yeah. But you think there's a market for that? Like, how many people are doing this? I know some people that are doing it, but, like, not like that. Like, they do, like, AV kind of stuff and, like, IT kind of thing. Yeah, it's like some coding type stuff. Yeah, facts. Like, if, you, if you're if you doing coding in FL Studio, salute, because that's bugged out. Yeah. That's so, bugged like, out. what I wanted to ask He's is, coding like, coding beats. If it, it, we'll do a deep dive, and I'll learn it if people want to know about this stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a deep dive myself. It's Keyword. just one of those things where I felt like not many people even mess with this. Yeah. Seems like it can help you in the piano roll. I mean... I've never even gone to this window in the piano roll where you go under scripts and you got all these different things. I, I don't even know what this is. But is it saying it's going to basically be easier for you to type out a script real quick, just being like, so turn that that note down. Let me do a little bit of reading right here. Piano roll scripts allow you to manipulate the note data in a piano roll under the control Python code. Custom scripts can be for creating, modifying, and deleting notes and markers from the FL Studio piano roll with custom user interfaces for controlling the 
details of how the scripts behave. Huh. For example, a script could be written that selects all notes higher than C3 MIDI note number 36. I just wonder how long that would take you versus deleting the note. I don't know, but now you can put it into Gopher and you can make it so anytime I don't. I, <laughs> I mean, about to delete this line of beat. And delete this cough. I just developed a cough and like since I started talking, I haven't had a cough at all today. Live on the show. Just yep. All right, everybody's getting, zombie. everybody's getting zombie. Everybody's getting COVID today. How you, <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? The communications panel. Red light. <laughs> 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 Shut it down, quarantine our shit. Communications panel, all tabs, news, downloads, blah, 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 is now resizable. Okay. Keyboard shortcuts. Mute, only channels visible in the channel rack. Okay, that's a small one. General settings. Disable plugin keyboard focus by default option in the miscellaneous panel is to disable plugin keyboard. Okay, that's not that big. So tools, VST support, more MIDI scripting. Added support for fill in each step. So like, look at this. MIDI scripting, piano roll scripting more python code i don't know what any of this means <laughs> this shit is do i need to know what this means i've never heard. this is why we have ai bro by look, the way all right look at this all right use a data folder under settings hardware i have a script called my mixer control and this is just a text file and you can see the name of the script at the top mixer control script so if we open fl studio then go to options midi settings and then to the controller type list Mixer control script user is in this list. So make sure it's enabled and go to view script yeah. output. I'm using a fire as a script, but it could be any controller. Edit the script and I can see it here. Now this uses two MIDI notes, 102 and 106 set as variables. They're down in the script lower, but we can look at that. Bro, like if you think that this is something new, this is for FL Studio 20. Yeah, yeah. No, Python is old. Like it's, and you can see you got this shit in the, these in the are now notes app. controlling yeah. the uh, mixer faders to 75 and 25%. Ah, MIDI Let's change it to a by the way. 100%. Yeah. So this is the line. Have you met this change dude? Change it to one instead no. of 75. Fruit, uh, FL Studio Guru. Scott. Scott? I haven't met him. I don't dude. even think I've been in a, yeah, I, I, I have never seen him. I've Scott, never met him. yo. I I'm met a few the, of them at NAM, uh, like the you know the executives over there, CEO, COO, I believe, Khan and Robert. I think I met at NAM. Josh obviously was uh, over at NAM. I've met a ton of the team, uh, Kim, Eric. There's a bunch of people I met over there, but I don't think I met we Scott. Need, we need Scott. But yeah, this is the voice. This is the guru that taught me a ton. Yeah, facts. That's you know, if you're into that, you're into it. Hell yeah, man. I, I've never been into it, but should I be? One, I don't know. That's what I wanted to know. Like, let me know. Should I be into this? I don't know. At least they care. That's the thing is they could have written that shit out. Yeah. They could have been like, hey, you know what? Bop, we got gopher. This is fire, bro. Mm -hmm. This right here I posted mm. on IG. This is fire. Check this out. Sample the the channel the sampler. So uh -huh. the sampler has has a nice update. Let's okay. go. I'm gonna throw. Wait, we'll just we'll just do this. Imagine this is a different kind of sample. But look at this. You got a in this playback area right here. You got a start and an end, and you can you can scroll and zoom in on the sample like this mm -hmm. and you can control these loop points within the sample just like this like within this window Fire. and that controls your start and your end Damn. so it, it brings Damn. an element of edison right into the sampler yeah that's fucking sick so like you're, you're gonna be right doing away. i think what their what their goal might be is to like not get rid of edison but just get rid of the need to go there for small things like this like this is fire this so is gonna you, be super useful for a ton of people so then when you when you highlight a section like that mm -hmm. can you drag that into another like for instance like a sampler like the the thing that you you've highlighted no. the, like the in and out no no I just, I, I just tried it oh okay nope that you would have to go to edison if you want to keep it within the same sampler mm -hmm. it's gonna play it's just gonna loop that that's just fine Underrated tool. Underrated tool in terms of like making beats and all that you can do a lot just by manipulating the parameters on on the sound that's, that's crazy. A, that's huh? a synth already that's a synth that was yeah. a kick that I just looped real yeah, quick yeah it's like a square synth or whatever That right there, that's gonna be something I'll, I'll probably use a lot. Hell yeah. At first, that's, I didn't think I was gonna, great. but now, like, nah, I'll definitely use that. I'll use it. Loop Starter is getting some updates. Uh, six new genres. If you're not that's familiar cool. with Loop Starter, fire. It's not AI. People think it's AI nonstop. It's not AI. It's from FL Cloud. It's just an algorithm based thing that goes on metadata 
mm. tags, you choose a genre, it looks in the metadata inside FL Cloud for samples and it pulls them from there. You can see right here, it finds similar samples. I believe that's new. You can control the key of this. So if you have an existing beat already, you could just choose the key that your beat is in and then it'll find samples in that key. We went over Loop Starter a bunch in the past. Loop Starter is really dope. So we won't do a full breakdown here, but Loop Starter is not new. We just got some new updates in, in 25.2. Let's go back. Oh, this is big right here, bro. This one, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Patcherizing effects. Have you ever used like patcherizer? Patcherizing? Nah. What is that? A couple different things if you wanted to. You can right click anything in the channel rack. This isn't new. Maybe uh, it might have been a 25 thing or a 24. You right click a plugin and hit patcherize mm. and it automatically throws that plugin into a patcher preset. Oh, dope. So then you can just start adding on to it. No. Oh, that's but, fucking sick. But what's crazier is they updated this. Let me just put a chain in here, like some random chain. By the way, if you didn't know this, if you right click any one of these mixer tracks and you go to file, they give you a bunch of mixing chains that nobody ever, ever talks about. There's oh, all shit. these different like mixer chains for different things. Say general per general purpose mastering. Um, I have my vocal chain in here. I didn't realize that. There you oh, go. They oh, got the vocal cool. presence template in there. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. We like that vocal preference. That, yeah, that presence. That's a good one. Look at this though. So the new patcherizing thing allows you to take all your mixing chain plugins right here in the same order, click here and hit patcherize all. Oh, now dude. you patcherize all and it puts them into one patch. Oh, shit. Patched together. Instantly. That's fire. That's that's nuts, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like that Hell to me yeah. is like, I know I say like, oh, it's game changer game. Like, I really mean it. I mean, I always I mean really it when mean I say it. it. I always mean it when I say it. But I today I really mean it. This is a an absolute crazy game changer. It's just, I feel like that saves CPU. Some people might have been saying like it patcher hurts CPU. I don't know. And, and so now you can just go into the patcher and, and have the plugins there as opposed to on the inserts. Yeah, the, now on I only have one insert taken up and it's patcher, but it's my exact chain that I just had in that the same exact order. In the same order, bro. You know what I mean? Like, look, it's the That's same, fucking dope. Same order. That's a move right there. Work uh, work smarter, y'all. Crazy. That's that's a great and then if you innovation want, right there. Just save that as a preset, you know? And then you got mm -hmm. your vocal chain. Save it. Now you can open it. You go to, you go to patcher. It should be right here somewhere. Gotcha. Preset. Local chain. Can't beat that. that. Yeah, that's fucking sick. Can't beat that. That's amazing to me. And then we talked about this, but we'll go over it again. Two brand new plugins in FL Studio 25.2. One is Emphasizer. This is a stripped down version of Emphasis. Think of it as a fast two knob limiter slash soft clipper. Yeah. So we have a new soft clipper for the first time I need that. since Fruity Soft Clipper was invented. We've never had another soft clipper in here. So now we have something slightly different with a different tone. Yeah. Some different yeah. options. It's new. We like new things. Damn. And then we have Fruity Slicer 2. We went on, we 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 did a, oh, yeah. an episode Look, on this last week. In. Yep, we did an episode on this last week, I believe. Uh, we went through this. We went through all the different features in it. We kind of like a beat it. We did a little bit of this. like, And then we just. And then we beat. just kind of like, yeah, we ended up cooking <laughs> after that and using Slicer. <laughs> Slice X, I think. <laughs> I think we did. We're like, oh yeah, this is sick. Slice uh, X. If you didn't this see looks that, filled in though. This looks pretty good. Yeah. If you didn't see that, uh, go watch it. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Are you going to be using this over Slicer One and Slice X? I'm curious to know. I don't know where it's going to fit in my workflow. Or I'm just going to stay with what I'm used to. I don't know. Updated plugins. Emphasis got some updates. Some like minor stuff though. Very minor. The Fruity Compressor has a new update. You can now sidechain within the Fruity Compressor. Oh, shit. So this was just a feature in the Fruity Limiter, and then you had to go to the si the compression yeah. setting. And, and use the side chain. So now. with that, how does the side chain and the compressor work? Is it does it you select a channel that you're you're side chaining it to? Yeah, it's gonna be like part of <clears throat> the same idea as if you were to side chain a kick in an eight oh eight, right? You'd go here, like I don't know, let's do the Fruity compressor on. You could right click, and oh. it would it would say like just like just like the com uh, the limiter would. Yeah, it would yeah. say it right here. Whatever you had side chain. Okay, if I shit. side chained here, eight to seven side chain, and then I go here, like eight should pop up in there now track number eight yep so wow like whatever you side chain to it it's gonna know in the back end right. just like the limiter situation but now like if you're used to using the fruity compressor and you want that side chain option you yeah. got it. or the characteristics of the of the fruity compressor like you can you can toggle a lot more of that attack and the release yeah. you can really you know get some interesting tones out of that yeah because i know like you you like the fruity i like right? i like a lot of the old i yeah. like the the fruity compressor i have been using the fruity delay three more 
Yeah. Um, mostly because I've been mixing on these Sennheiser uh, open back headphones. Yep. Like I just swatched back. I've had to them for a minute, but yeah. I was like, let me just put these back on and start. Those mixing. are good. And I'm just getting like so much cooler mixes is what I'd say. Like anytime that I want to try something different, the open back headphones, I'm always rocking those from Sennheiser because it's like I've just had them for so long. I know the sound profile. Yeah. And then also like the mix is so flat. Yeah. That I can hear like any sort of low end that I really want, any sort of mid range that I want to take out maybe, or like I can can really differentiate between the mid range that I want to keep and the mid range that I want to take out. Open back is tremendous for that because it's not adding anything. But yeah, I use a lot of old stuff combined with the new, but that fruity delay has been getting a lot of work from me this week. Just like all the, I don't know. Fruity Delay 3 is Fruity my Delay 3 is very smooth. My go-to. But the Fruity Compressor, that's that's Bay. Yeah. I haven't switched up on Bay since. I FL Studio Remote got an update, minor a minor update, again, around Python scripting. But so... But hey, if you don't know, back. in FL25, when 25 dropped earlier mm. this year, I think it was, FL Studio Remote 2 dropped. Mm. So they had one from like 11 or 12 years ago. They had one. And they haven't updated it since. Now with this one, we finally got an FL Studio Remote update. It's awesome. Especially if you record yourself. Yeah. If you just like to be like more mobile in your studio, like just, you just hook your if phone you pace. up. Hook your phone up. Yeah, if you pace. Hook your phone up to the same Wi-Fi as your computer. I think that's how it works. And you just control the whole thing. It's very in-depth. You can see. We talked about this before and showcased it a little bit but it's really really good though so you got your mixer set up you got everything in here crazy yeah it's awesome so yeah. update there the zge visualizer nobody uses this oh, is this, wait what is this i like have a, a good i have good cpu i don't have a good video card Mm -hmm. But if I try to use this, I think my computer will crash. And I have a good computer. And my <laughs> computer will still crash. It, it's a very CPU-heavy yeah. thing. You got to be employed by fucking... And you got to have a good yeah, video yeah. graphics card. NASA to run that shit. <laughs> you got to have like a top-of-the-line graphics card to run this thing. And right. I think, you know what it is? Like my computer, when I built my computer, crypto was nuts. High, mm -hmm. really high. And people were mining it and still do mine it with graphics cards. Mm -hmm. So the graphics cards went through the roof. Right, like, yeah. Like 10 x yeah. Like they 10 x in price. Like yes. thousands of dollars for a graphics card. Oh, I remember. Card. So I didn't get a graphics card. I just got the one that was like combined with CPU. Mm -hmm. Like, so I got like an i9 or whatever. And I didn't, I didn't, because I don't do crazy video stuff on my computer. Like I don't play games. I just, I run FL and audio stuff. Mm -hmm. I edit videos, obviously, but not to that extent. You don't need to see like avatar level graphics type. Videos. So I skipped out on that. I see on the graphics card but i'm seeing now like i probably need one and i think the prices went down so i'll probably grab one soon but that's pretty much it i that's think it. it's a it's a pretty decent update um <clears throat> new plugins new features new updates on gopher ai Got a whole bunch of good stuff in there it's crazy because i feel like in the short period of time like the new ceo joined fl they've really adapted to the times I think the best of any of the DAWs. Like, they've integrated in ways that I don't think any other DAWs really have. And I think they're just locked in with the producer culture, like, pretty tough now in a way that they weren't before. Mm -hmm. So I think with, and like, I think part of that is due to the ambassadors, like, everybody that's been using it. Yeah. And then, like, the native instruments, like, the CEO joining up, you know what I'm saying? Like, that guy knows a whole bunch. Yeah. A whole bunch of experience about yeah. like what they needed which i felt like was um like integrated plug-in database level shit because yeah. it's been obviously had different synths and plugins but like and that was unique for sure because other plugins didn't really have like those same things but they've been able to like navigate the best of any of the DAWs. I, yeah, I think so, 100%. I think Having all those aspects. The cloud thing is even huge. Like I don't use the cloud that much, but the respect the fact that Massive. it's there because yeah, it's, it's like, huge. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, because I mean, they, they're just going to own their own library. Whereas these other DAWs are integrate, integrating Splice, they're all doing it, but it's a different company that you have to integrate. So now the way my brain works is like FL Studio has FL Cloud. Mm -hmm. It's their own thing. They own it, they have it. They buy or license all the samples that are in it, right? It's theirs. When a Personas or a Logic or an Ableton, they get Splice integrated into it. What happens when that deal runs out and somebody's right. workflow is, I go to Splice every day inside Ableton, blah, blah, blah. Now you're disrupting people's workflows. Facts. Yeah. So right. and my, like, I think the other DAWs, they wanted something fast and, and have somebody else do it for them. Yeah. When I think they're all capable of doing what FL Studio did, but they just opted out not to do it. Right. Yeah. They, they weren't like um, distributed to do that. Like they, they didn't take that step that I think like they weren't positioned to get that. If yeah. that makes sense. Like they, they were in a position to do the next best thing. Maybe. Or but, maybe they could have been. Maybe it was just like, sure. They got yeah. approached and maybe the deal was like too easy for them to say, yeah, this is easy. Let's just do it. Yeah. And the, <clears throat> 
mm-hmm. res- but I just think of like the resource of like having being a company that does this thing and then to be like, okay, but I know these people that can help us get this thing to market in like a year. Yeah. A year's time. You know what I mean? Having that that access to the resource of yeah. like programmers and whoever the fuck else understands this shit because I don't I use drum packs I got off Reddit still. Like that's you know what I mean? But I love all this shit because it's mad impressive yeah you know i think we can wrap it fl studio 25.2 what do you think let me know in the comments you grabbing it did you grab it yet if you haven't what the hell are you waiting for go get it what do you don't if you haven't already please make sure you like comment subscribe and share this with a friend if you get me